All right, so today I'm gonna to cover spore rehydration. I have this germ plate here. Uh, you can see there's a giant clump of spores on there. I had not used a proper streaking technique or anything like that. I just dumped them on there with a scalpel. It uh, is a clear, clean print, obviously, because there's no bacteria or mold growing alongside. So I'm gonna rehydrate it by adding some distilled water to this jar. I have a magnetic stir bar in here so that once the spores are deposited into the sterile water, it will remain suspended. The polysorbate 20 is going to be the surfactant. I'm gonna add a drop of this to the water to keep those spores from clumping together. Uh, if you don't have polysorbate 20, you could probably just use uh, a drop of dish dry, actually, as your surfactant. As always, I'm using this ball leak proof lid with a synthetic filter disc on top. And uh, afterwards, once the uh, once I've given about 24 hours for this to rehydrate, I'm going to be using one of these 10 microliter uh, disposable loops inoculation loop and uh, I'm going to be using that for streaking new plates. I'm going to be using the proper quadrant method for streaking. I'll uh, document that as well so you guys can see what's going on. Anyways, that's what I'm going to be up to. Top of this. There you go. And the lid. Ball cap. For the PC. Then I'll be running this in my All-American for uh, 20 minutes at 15 PSI. Water is out of the PC and it's now cooling in flow. This is the spore print that I'll be using. That entire print will be getting scraped into this jar. Uh, the print is two years old, so it's definitely due for some hydration. And there you have it, spore laden, sterile water. Now there may be some contamination that uh, was incorporated in along with that spore print, but that's uh, not much of a concern. That's what acres for, so 24 hours and I'll be streaking this to some plates.